Inside this Peoria house is an orphanage of sorts. And Hazel is going to be a princess. A place where Jennifer Brackney cares for the homeless. <laughs> the way we look at it is you may not be able to save everyone, but we save one and we make a difference in that dog's life or that puppy's life and that is incredibly rewarding. Jennifer was only seven when she made her first rescue, a little kitten. Since then, she's opened her home and her heart to more than 200 animals. How sad are some of the situations you run across? We've run across everything. Neglect, abuse, emaciated. You, you come across them, things that are really hard for you to see. And it's getting worse. Last year, nationally, 84% of shelters and rescue groups reported increased numbers of family pets being given up. <laughs> Animal shelters say due to the recession, fewer families are able to adopt these abandoned pets. That's why during today's tough economic times, foster moms like Jennifer can mean the difference between life and death. Just to watch this little guy go from five ounces back up to eight ounces. Voight's mom was pregnant and emaciated when she was rescued. Voight nearly died. But with round-the-clock feeding and her homemade incubator, Voight is now thriving. In your eyes, are people like Jennifer heroes? Absolutely, absolutely. Our foster homes are heroes. I'm going to go across here and I'll start opening. By that definition, Cindy Barch also qualifies as a hero. Come here, girl. She runs a shelter in nearby Bloomington just for Great Pyrenees. It's at a point where we're pulling dogs out of the kill shelters, you know, just at the last minute sometimes and, and not making it to all of them. <laughs> Even after the fortunate few find permanent families, Jennifer never forgets them, not a one. That's Hazel. And when you ask her who's luckier, she or her pets. Look at how cute you are. I am the lucky one. Hundreds of animals may beg to differ. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Peoria, Illinois.